Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. One of the gifts that God has entrusted to us is our bodies. He is the one who knit us together in our mother's womb. Each of us come out of the birthing process with a tag attached that says, handmade by God. St. Paul goes a step further regarding our bodies in relationship to God. He reminds us that we have been bought with a price, which means that our bodies are not really our own to do with whatever we want. Because of the tremendous price that's been paid, meaning Jesus' sacrificial death, the appropriate goal for us is to glorify God in our bodies. The first aspect that might come to mind is not using our bodies in ways that run directly contrary to the Word of God. We should not be involved in sexual relations outside of marriage. We should not be drinking to the point of drunkenness. We should not be filling our bodies with drugs that distort our perception. But there's also a positive aspect to this admonition. We should take care of this gift that God has entrusted to us. We need to rest and exercise for our bodies to function well. But another aspect of caring for our bodies we need to ponder is the intake of food. Imagine if you asked someone to build you a house and you supplied them with popsicle sticks, duct tape, bailing wire, glue, and plastic wrap. That builder would be hard pressed to build you anything substantial. In the same way, if we give our bodies chips, candy, pop, desserts, and snacks, but very little meat, nutritious bread, fruits, and vegetables, and expect our bodies to function well, we're kidding ourselves. That's an interesting concept in our verses. You are not your own, but you were bought with a price. I remember the days leading up to my wedding. And one of the thoughts that went through my head was something like, you are not making decisions just for you anymore because every decision you make significantly impacts two people. It was a sobering thought and it affected the decisions I was making. You are not your own for you were bought with a price is also a so sobering thought. Our goal is to glorify God with the choices we make regarding our bodies. We are going to blow it over and over, but the good news is that the Lord stands ready to forgive and to keep working on us. I pray that by the power of God at work within us, we can be good stewards of this gift that He has given us, the gift of our bodies. Press on in the Lord.